Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ today. You know, I want to talk about, um, the Lord said to preach on finances today. Um, uh, I'm a tither. I've been tithing for many years. I believe in giving 10% to God off all your income. And um, they say, well, what's tithe? They said, well, do I tithe off what I keep? No, you tithe off whatever you get, the 10%. The first 10% belongs to God. Amen. It belongs to God. That first 10%, if, and, and it's not... Well, after I do, after I pay all my bills and do whatever, no, you got to tithe, you got to, you know, but I want to say this about giving. Um, and then we tithe and we bow pay and then we bless the poor. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray for increase, uh, but you start where you're at. I don't know, maybe it's a nickel, a dollar, a dime, uh, 50 cents. And then as God begins to prosper you and you get faith, then you begin um, to tithe, you begin to tithe more and vow pay and, and, and be more of a blessing um, to, to those in need and to, the, and, to, and to Jesus Christ. And I sense this, they'll start where you're at. Yeah. And then when you get there, once you get there, continue. Yeah. Don't stop. Um, don't stop when you get there because a lot of people when they get there they stop and then they're like well you once they get there they stop and God's giving them the increase don't eat that seed sow it you know don't don't eat the seed sow that seed that's in your life today don't eat it sow it uh, 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 Jesus Christ the, you know he can give you the increase and I, I remember when I first started off in the ministry, I said that I was so poor, I couldn't afford to pay attention. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm doing good, you know, but I want to say this, but it's something I've been doing and it's a principle that we must continue in. Yeah. Um, if you have a need, sow a seed, you know, but are, I believe in the word of God today and God's word says that it's his word. It's not man. It's God's word. It's obeying God. Yeah. And whatever it is, and God will begin to give you the increase in your life. And, um, you know, and Jesus wants to meet your need and he wants to prosper you. Um, and I just, you know, I want to just say this, but begin where you are, whether it's a dollar, whether it's two dollars, whether it's three dollars, whether it's five dollars. It's not how much you give, it's what you give, and you'll never, I always say this, people say when I get there, you'll never get, if you're not going to give where you are, you're not going to give when you get there. If God can't trust you with a dollar or ten dollars or five dollars or twenty dollars, he's not going to trust you with a thousand dollars, you know, and this, this is how he is. Now, if, if you want to, you know, he'll meet your need, but the blessing, you know, Jesus said he'll open up the, he the 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 heavens on us. But and it's funny because it's a true principle, you know. I, you're not gonna do that, yeah. And so you won't. You're not gonna. You'll probably be in lack the rest of your life because you have to believe God's word. And I believe God's word. And I, man, I thank God. My, God made a way where there is no way. But there comes a point in your life where you have to. You want to, you, and when you get there, don't stop. Do you know how many people that I have known that at one time tasted of the Lamb of God? And when they get there, they stop. They don't tithe. They don't vow pay. They don't help the homeless. They're greedy. It's just like they just forget about and they just back, they do what they want. And it's like, whoo, whoo. But no, no, no. Stay with Jesus. Stay with the Lamb and stay giving. God is a giving God. And I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray for people's finances today, but this is true in my life, not something that I'm just talking about. I've been applying these, I've been applying the laws of God and it works. But if, if you have any to see, make a vow, give to God and watch, and then go out and feed. I said this, I don't know how many months I spent, I don't know how much feeding people, giving coffee away, giving money away. Are you hungry? I don't know. You get whatever you want. When you're good to others, God will be good to you. And these are just some of the ways I'm going to share some of these principles. And I'm going to pray that God will meet your need. And that you'll, I pray you'll never have a need in your life in Jesus' name. 
I pray in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of poverty and lack in your life. Loose you in Jesus' name. Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law. And one of the curses was poverty was lack. But you have to, you have to do it God's way. Uh, and I say this before, people are struggling, especially Christians. You have to do it God's way. Yeah. And um, I've seen the faithfulness of God time after time. God's word, God's promise, God's laws, God's oracles, the gospel works today. You know, I was thinking about that lady. They said it was two years worth. And she broke, she broke open that alabaster box. And they said it was two years wages. Can you imagine saving for two years, two years of your job and then giving it to God? And the Bible says, she, he said, as a memorial, wherever the gospel is preached, this woman shall be mentioned. And 2,000 years ago, we're still talking about that lady in that alabaster box. Because she broke open that thing and she anointed Jesus for her for his burial. Don't tell me giving doesn't matter. Yeah. Two years wages and it moved. He, he, it, it showed she cared. Yeah. You, and the Bible says where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. If you spend more money at Walmart and Target and JC Pennies and, and Walgreens and, uh, you know, you spend more money, you know, at, uh, at, uh, uh, TGIFs, that's where all your money's at. That's where your heart is. You don't love God. I'll tell you right now, you don't love God. I know a person who loves God. You're all, that person gives to God, yeah. And God's going to break you off, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm a giver, yeah. But I want to say this. I, man, I'm just saying, just start where you're at. And then when you get there, don't stop. But I believe in the laws of God. They work, yeah. And I've had my back against the wall. I said, I'm a need. If you have a need, sow a seed. I get some seed in my hand. And I and write it down. Say, Lord, I'm tithing. I'm valve paying. I'm sowing seed. What do you want God to do for you? Aim that seed. I have done it countless of times. I'm believing God for my health, for my marriage, for my kids, for my, my walk with God, for somebody else. I'm believing God. And watch, watch when you do what God does for you. Yeah, it works, man. Yeah, man, I'm still doing it today. I, I, I live off the blessing. I don't eat the seed. I sow it. And I want to say this: many years ago, I would get seed in my hand as a young preacher who was too poor. You couldn't pay attention. And Jesus said, "That's your future. Don't eat it. Don't eat that seed. Sow it. If you sow it, you'll get your man." I, I. I Oh, Lord, gee, what a blessing of the Lord. Oh, I say, I'm going to go get something to eat. And I, I would admit, I would put, I would sow that seed into the kingdom of God. And I'm unfathomably blessed today. Yeah. And Jesus, the Holy Ghost told me, don't eat that seed. And I would get it. I said, I would preach all day and cast out devils and lay hands on the sick and prophesy and anoint with oil and <laughs> hat meeting time. And people would put something in my hand. And I said, Woo, yeah, Lord. I was I thought twenty dollars like a million dollars. I was like, man, I feel like I go get something to eat. And Jesus said, Rudy, don't eat that seed, sow it. Yeah. And what I sowed, I'm just saying I've reaped a thousandfold. And more than money. Because God's word, the Holy Ghost, <laughs> the Holy Ghost, I'm doing good. This is not something I've read about. This is something I've lived, <laughs> yeah. Amen. Many a times I emptied out my pockets and fed people. Line them up. What do you want? You want burgers? You want fries? Get what you want. Get whatever you want. And people said, they just said, you crazy? I said, no, nah, I believe in God. It said, if you give to the poor, God will give to you. I'm going to get... You bet. And I want to say this now: if you, if he ain't, if he ain't Lord of all, he ain't Lord at all. I know more people. They'll fast, they'll pray, they'll preach, they'll go to church two hundred times in two days, but they will not give God no money. Now, there's a, I'm gonna tell you, there's some wonderful Christians. I love them, and they love me. And I said, Lord Jesus, 
They may give God one dollar. And I, I love God. No, you don't. <laughs> Heaven, tithing isn't once a week. Tithing isn't once a year. Tithing is whenever that income comes in, you're going to give to God. And I'm telling you, this is for some. The Lord Jesus, if, I, if you have a need, make a vow. Say, Lord, I've made a, I don't know how many vows I've made. I said, Lord, I'm going to make, and I pay my vow. And God did exactly what he said. I said, Lord, I'm going to make, I'm going to give this much every month, every week, every year. And God, funda, he broke me off, man. Just like he said he would. When God told me, I made a vow, and I'm living in a problem. And I, I'm just saying this. It's his word. It's his word. Yeah. Yeah. And I know people, they'll, they'll do anything but give God money. <laughs> That's the Lord. I'll go, I'll do anything. I'll climb up a tree. But they will not give God no seed. I'll do it, man. I love to get, man, because God has a harvest. I'm living off the harvest today of what I sowed many years ago. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus loves you. I bind the spirit of lack and poverty off you. Loose them in Jesus' name. Lord, increase them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. I'm going to preach this because I lived it. And if you will apply these principles, not only in your fight, you will see the glory of God. Yeah. Amen. Don't stop believing. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, meet their need. Put seed in their hand. But when he does, don't eat that seed. So don't go buy a car. Don't go get a house. There'll be a time for that. Sow that seed. And when that harvest comes, man, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, this is the Reverend Rudy Henry. He who saves one lie saves the world's ministries. Um, and I'm not talking some gimmick. I'm talking about what God tells you, you do. God said, give those clothes away. Give that dining room. I've, I've seen it with my eyes, man. Yeah, go give them your car. Go give them your house. Give them what give. Give what's in your pocket to that person. Be a blessing and watch God bless you today. That's just how God is, yeah. Yeah. And I don't understand that. I'm being honest. And and I love them and they, I, you know, they're a blessing of the Lord to the man of God. But they will not. <laughs> They're amazed. I said, Rudy, you t I'm not going to tell you, but praise God, man. Yeah, I'm still here today. Amen. So make a vow, pay that vow. And when God, when God does what he says, pay that vow, brother. Yeah, sow some seed. Maybe your marriage, maybe your health, maybe your, your children. I don't know. Hallelujah. Maybe you look, I'm just saying Jesus loves you today and and I pray, Lord, that you increase them in Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Oh, how I praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Jesus loves you today. I just want to preach on this for a little bit. Uh, check out my other series. Uh, these, This is stuff I've been tithing and vow paying and giving to God and feeding the hungry uh, for 26 years. Even when I didn't have anything... I was still being a blessing. I was so broke, I couldn't pay attention. And uh, I didn't have any, I, oh Lord Jesus. And I was still operating in the principle. I was still doing what God said do with nothing. And look where I'm at. I'm just telling you, man, I'm living good. I'm in the promised land. <laughs> yeah, but start where you're at. Yeah, Jesus loves you. Oh, hallelujah. I bless you in the name of Jesus Give them the miracles and the breakthrough they need in Jesus. Now, I command you to prosper. I command you to succeed and be wealthy in the name of Jesus. And give to God, man. Go out there and feed some people. I've, I've lined them up. I don't know. I've went broke, man. I'm not trying to boast, man. I said, man. And I've been blessed unfantably. Yeah. If I had $1,000 in my pocket right now, yeah. Unfantably. Yeah. I can't explain it more than money, yeah. Because when God says something, he gonna fun to break you off. God's word is eternal. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's the truth. Hallelujah. 
Oh, how blessed are those who hunger and thirst for night. They shall be filled. They'll do anything else. But I ain't feeding nobody. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna give God any my money. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> okay. But I'm telling you now that Jesus loves you today. Well, I bind the spirit of poverty and lack off you, loose you in Jesus, and I loose the wealth and the prosperity and the success of God in your life in Jesus' name. God bless them. Give them increase in Jesus' name. I was preaching about five. I didn't even have no money. But I knew that one day I will. And I was prophesying to my situation. You can prophesy. Well, amen. Jesus loves you today. Amen. This is the reverend. And I feel this. And I got to preach on this. Yeah. Start where you're at. And once you get there, don't stop. Because I've seen that happen to people. Yeah. And then they're back where they started. Oh, my Lord Jesus. I plead the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, over you. Yeah. Lord, increase them in Jesus' name. Lord, increase them in Jesus' name. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, prosper them. May they give to God. And don't eat that seed. I'll never forget it so many years ago. And I still don't eat my seed. I sow it. Yeah. I rather I rather have God. I sow it. Just I went without to pay my tithe and give to God. And now I'm funny. I broke off, brother. <laughs> yeah. People thought I lost my they said, Lord, jeez. And I'll do it. Man, I'm telling you, man, I feel the anointing. Yeah. Yeah. I get get some seed. And if you have a need, sow some seed. I have a need to seed and pay your tithe, man. Yeah. Don't rob God. Don't rob him. Well, a man robbed God. He said, you curse with a curse. He opened up the windows of heaven on you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus is Lord today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember, I still remember the Lord said, in that seed is your future. Don't eat your future. Don't eat your harvest. Sow it. So don't eat it. A lot of people are eating. <laughs> See, sow it, man. Yeah. So amen. This is the reverend. The Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It could be anything. Your clothes, your, you know, go your dining room set, your bedroom set, your bathroom set. Amen. Go in the pantry. God must say, clean out your clean out your, your cupboards. And you see that family over there? Give them your groceries. Buy them some. Oh, hallelujah. And God will make if you release what's in your hand. God, Rod Parsley said that. Well, I used to, oh, God bless you, Rod, Rod Hart. He said, if once you release what's in your hand, God will release, his, will release what's in his. He says, waiting for you. Release that seed, and God will release his hand. He'll open up his hand to you. But he can't because you got a closed fist. <laughs> yeah, I remember, Woo, world harvest. <laughs> God bless you, Dr. Rod Parsley. He's on in there. And he said, if you will release what's in your hand, God will release what's in his. I'm telling you that. Oh, hallelujah. I've released and God released what was his hand. And what was his in his hand was greater than what was in my hand. Go ahead and release that seed. God is waiting for you. And once you do, whoo, hallelujah. Here comes the harvest. Yeah, I've really. I'm living in the harvest that I sowed seed. I did things, not just, man, things I did when I was years ago in the ministry. I'm walking in today. Oh, this is the Reverend Rudy Henry, Fresno, California. <laughs> hey, man, Jesus loves you. I'm telling you, man, release what's in yours, and God will release in his head. He's waiting for you. Go ahead, man. Be a blessing to the kingdom. Be a blessing to your family. And be a blessing to those in need. And watch God move on your behalf. He's done it. I've seen God this move. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah, well, praise God. The reverend here. I love you. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah.